Today we get poppin'. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. The Oscars are this Sunday and there's no better way to take in all that Hollywood glamour than by shoveling fistfuls of popcorn into your mouth. Ah. And then spending the next six hours trying to get that one stupid piece out of your teeth until your gums are bleeding. But when it does come out, Ooh, what a relief. Yeah, the Oscars notoriously run long, so you may actually need a couple bags of popcorn. But which bag should you have? Lucky for you, we're ranking them today to find the best. It's time for, is Orville Redenbacher better than Pop Secret? We'll choose the best popcorn and the rest, you can keep it. We're hitting that popcorn button on the microwave and trying the classic butter flavor of six different kinds of microwave popcorn. That's Orville Redenbacher's Skinny Pop, Act Two, Pop Secret, Jolly Time, and Newman's own. And then we're gonna rank each microwave popcorn on a scale of one to six as follows. Horrible Redenbacher, you burnt metal corn. Could be butter. It makes me corny, baby. And it's popping. All right, I'm hungry. Our first bag of popcorn comes all the way from Brazil. Indiana, <laughs> where Orville Redenbacher was born in 1907. Let's try this popcorn made by that sweet man with the, the glasses. Now, was the guy in the commercials, was it really him or was it an actor? I don't know, do you guys? What I do know is that Orville Redenbacher. Orville who? Redenbacher. Redenbacher. He died in a jacuzzi in 1995. Man, I wish I died in a jacuzzi in 1995. Don't say I mean, that. No, I mean, just like, I mean, that's how I want to die. Not necessarily 1995. Are you a popcorn aficionado? Yeah. Okay, well. Sign me up. Well, what is? What are you feeling? It is very light, it's very crispy, and it has a good, solid taste. I just like popcorn, though, so I don't, I mean. I mean, I think this is great. There's nothing to complain about. Um, I'm gonna put it, let, you wanna put it in number three or number two, just for starters. It could be butter. At 62 cent a bag, seems like a pretty good deal. Hey, this week marks the one year anniversary of the Mythical Society, and we got a special offer for those of you who join during the month of February. Any purchase of a third degree annual plan will receive one of the four prior quarterly collectible items. Your choice, while supplies last, it could be your very last chance ever to grab those Retlink Chia heads, that poster, that glow in the dark shirt, or that record that we put out. Not so, the glow in the dark shirt, the shirt that. Oh yeah, I said the wrong one. The sun activates. That sun activates. Even shirt. better. Mythicalsociety.com, check it out in the month of February. All right, next up, we got Skinny Pop, mm -hmm. microwavable popcorn. Let's get the skinny on this popcorn. Now this is the most expensive popcorn, $1.16 per bag. Whoa. And it tastes totally different than there, Redenbacher. There's it, something sweet almost. It's sweeter. Um, it's considered skinny because it has no artificial flavors or preservatives. No GMO, zero trans fat, good source of fiber. Well, that's weird because corn, by definition, is a GMO. I'm staying out of this one. I mean, come on, y'all, with the GMO stuff. It's so, just, it, it means nothing. Corn is a GMO. You had to make corn from something else just to have corn. Corn is a genetically modified organism. But they're calling it skinny as if it's like lower calorie or something. That ain't, that's not necessarily true. Um, zero trans fat. Um, I do not like this. And I'm a popcorn man, as we've established. It's saltier and sweeter, but not as buttery. It's not even close to the Redenbacher. Not even close, man. Because this is buttery. And he died in a, in a jacuzzi. Yeah, man, he the, gets points for that, right? The sweetness is a little weird. So yeah, I, I, I'd I'll say go, put it in your burn. Lower. Even though it's not burnt, it's just bad. It's not burnt, it's just oddly sweet. Now we get to the cheapest popcorn we're gonna be tasting today at 33 cents a bag. It's Act Two Butter Popcorn. Now, you may not remember, because I don't, Act One was a popcorn that came out in 1981 and it had to be stored in the fridge because it had real butter on it. But then in 84, oh. the year we met, they came out with Act Two and said, real butter schmutter. So Act One doesn't exist anymore? I don't think so. Hmm, I remember when I was a kid, I would go to my nanny's house and they had, I, I think this was a big thing in the 70s. You'd get your, you'd get a popcorn popper, but hers was shaped like a covered wagon. Jiffy pop. And you would put the kernels in there and it would 
The covered wagon would oh, jump oh. up and down. My mom had the same thing. Yeah. It was a glass covered wagon. Yes. It was, yeah. did y'all have that? And I just remembered that. A covered wagon thing and there was oil in the, in mm -hmm. the bottom part? Mm hmm We gotta get hold of one of them covered wagons. Yeah, we gotta get a covered wagon popper, y'all. Uh, This tastes cheap. For parties. This tastes cheap and old. Yeah. It yeah. might be as bad as Skinny Pop. I think it's worse. I mean, the Skinny Pop, to me, I don't know, something about it, I'm still on this little fence here where I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like the sweetness. But this act too crap, I mean, yeah, it's the best value in popcorn if you don't compare it to any other popcorns. Skinny is actually better. I've tried every way except the way it would work. But listen, Skinny is still bad, friend. I just tasted it again. But, but act two is worse, friend. They're both bad, friend. Pop secret not only means a dad's hidden skill, <laughs> is also popcorn. <laughs> it's a secret. You know about Pop's secret? <laughs> Pop's got a secret. Classic butter taste. Now in 2015, mm. Pop Secret became the official popcorn of Disneyland Resort and Disney World. Mm. So. This is not bad. 79 cent a bag. It's also, in 2004, Pop Secret sponsored the Pop Secret Microwave 400 NASCAR race the Rockingham. at Rockingham Speedway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got a whole popcorn race, guys. It's covered wagons. This has got a serious butter thing happening. Yeah, I'd call that butter thing uh, butter flavor. It's not surprising to me that you've kind of thrown a curveball into the ranking system as you often do. Um, by and by that, he just means I disagree with him. By liking Skinny Pop, which is horrible definitively. This is good. This is better than Skinny Pop. I don't think it's better than Orville because Orville, let's put Orville right here. And oh, not, no, we're gonna get confused. I don't wanna forget. You're, you're gonna, you're, Orville's right here. We need a marker. Orville, what, 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 where we need we? a Sharpie. It, it, it's Orville. It's still better. It, it's lighter and crispier. It's not as buttery, man. This pop Secret is more buttery. I don't disagree with you, but the popcorn quality, look, we got a Sharpie. Put OR on this. <laughs> All right, I did it. Now we're just gonna think it's OR. I really like the- The, the quality is not even close. The corn quality is not even close. It is really buttery. This tastes perfect, man. How can you not taste that? There's actually, I'm not being paid by Orville, by the way. Here, I know it seems like I am. Here's the thing about Orville. I would say that there is a, um, there is a corn flavor that is still part of the process. And with Pop Secret, you're, it's basically just butter and salt. And, and that's my entire experience. So I, I so we're agreeing, right? Yeah. Classic butter taste, second place. All right, good. Oh, hello there. Can I interest you in a jolly time? That's that's usually what I say in my private life. Oh, to, to who? Well, to my woman. <laughs> if she, I ask her if she wants a jolly time. Uh, and I just mean you want to. She says yes. You want to share a <laughs> you want to share a metal tin of popcorn because that's what they were served in in 1927. This is the oldest popcorn that we're gonna be tasting, uh, invented in 1914. Then Bob Hope endorsed it in the, in the 50s. Can you believe that? Bob was a big man, very popular. It's the only microwave popcorn endorsed by Weight Watchers. What? What's up with all these endorsements? They're seeking endorsements from people. Yeah, right. and giving endorsements at races. Right. When I chew popcorn, I try not to chomp really hard because I don't wanna get it nestled in my teeth, man. Can, can I tell you something? Tell me something. You know what I'm having over here? No, you're not. You're having a jolly time? I'm not having an unjolly time. Are you, you think this is better than Pop Secret? I didn't say that. I just I'm said going I'm back into jolly the time. Pop Secret. Me and Bob Hope and the representatives from Weight Watchers, it's the 50s. We're, you know, hmm. skiing in like, we're like, we're water skiing and we're like in a pyramid. Uh -huh. Of people, because that's the kind of thing that happened in the fifties. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were like people. Like, oh, let's water ski, and there'll be women above us, mm -hmm. and we're holding up. Mm -hmm. Why do we stop that? I'm bringing the pop secret down. Now we got to remember this. This pop secret. We got to put a PS on it. Put a PS on it. <sighs> Science. Put the PS on it. It's salty. I like it. I like the name. It looks so generic, though. I mean, this looks like ration popcorn. This is pop secret. But yeah, P.S. right there, you see that? Not easy, guys. What about Orville? I know it's not as good as Orville. 
Oh. Man, Orville's good. <laughs> I love getting reintroduced to the Redenbacher. Bacher. <laughs> no. Yeah, he's not moving. This is tough. They is taste tough. equal. You know what? I think I just discovered what Pop's secret is. Is that he also makes jolly, jolly time. time. They taste the same. Do they not taste the same? Is it the same popcorn? Is that the big pop secret? There's no discernible difference. No, and I can tell there's a slight difference in color. Jolly Time is a little bit yellower. They taste exactly the same. So do you prefer yellow? That's really the question. I do because it makes me think that I'm tasting a little bit more butter. Okay, we gotta move them then. All right, so we're gonna move Act Two down. We're gonna move Skinny Pop down. Well, we could just move Orville to number one. Is that too premature? That's just too premature. Put Jolly Time at number two. Put nose back there. Boy, this is complicated. Whew, man. Woo! It's hard being us. I mean, sitting here on the internet eating popcorn. <laughs> <sighs> Somebody's gotta do it though. Behind the face of every handsome man are popcorn kernels covered in oil. We're finishing up with Newman's own microwave popcorn. 100% of the profits go to charity. That's what, that's how he do, man. All righty, so I'm gonna oh. take. Oh, mm. you know what this reminds me of? Is it this a is the burnt? popcorn equivalent of In-N-Out fries. What do you What do you mean? Meaning by that? that it feels super just naked, like it feels like nobody did anything to it. It's like it's like you're walking through a corn pasture. What's that called? Corn field. Corn field. Yeah. You're walking through a corn field and it's hot. Uh, I'm talking like real hot. I like corn pasture. Start again and say that. You're walking through a corn pasture and yeah. it is hot. I'm talking like real hot. So hot that it starts popping the corn off the cobs. Corn pasture hot. And you're opening your mouth and you get, you just get a little, you just get a little. I got one. Yeah. Who is hot out here in this one. pasture? I got one. Who is hot in the pasture, isn't it? Mmm. Look at that. But then I realized, could use some salt. And some butter. Right, it could use the things that make it bad for me. And Newman's like, no, 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 no. You guys playing catch the corn with granddad? <laughs> catch the corn with granddad? No. Hey, let me catch some corn with granddad. Look, I, I do no look. <laughs> Am I going low or high? You're going a little low. Go high. <clears throat> Finally, okay, this is not that great. Need salt? I think that we're putting this at the very above Skinny Pop. Nope, I like Skinny Pop better. I'm gonna stand by it. It's okay. If you like sweet pop, if you like little hint, if you if you get confused between kettle corn and regular popcorn, then you might like the skinny pop if you wanna make some sort of thing. So we're pushing that forward. Don't worry about those. And then we're pushing that forward. And the Redenbacher. The definitive. His death has been, what's it called when your death is like Avenged. meaningful? All right, here's the thing. Avenged in a pasture. Here's what we're all gonna do tonight. We're all gonna get a big old bag of Orville Redenbacher, we're gonna get in the hot tub, we're gonna turn it all the way up, and no matter how fast your heart starts beating, you're gonna stay in there against doctor's orders over 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and we're all gonna die together in a field corn pasture. <laughs> we'll meet in the corn pasture. It'll be a jolly good time. For all eternity. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi. I'm Kat from Ontario, and I just woke up from a dream where I turned into a bag of popcorn to sneak into Rhett and Link's show. Look out, guys. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Well, good thing this isn't a bag. <laughs> Maybe we poured her out and ate her. Click the top link to watch us make popcorn using a George Foreman grill and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Sign up for a Mythical Society third degree annual plan and receive a past quarterly item of your choice while supplies last. Go to mythicalsociety.com for details.